Hi everybody, hope you're well. Nick from 360 Big Sky Media. This is a little bit of a follow-up video. Um, everybody seemed to enjoy the two Trizio videos that we did. Um, the first one telling you why I bought it and how it works and the second one doing a shoot on site. You'll be happy to know that the deal we've remembered a microphone. So that's, that's great. Just a quick favour before we go any further. If you do get something out of these videos, could you like? That really helps YouTube's algorithm and it'll get it in front of more people. Um, if you're interested in what I do, press subscribe. We're nearly at 100 subscribers, that's nuts. And let me know what you think. Give me some feedback, let me have some more comments. Those of you who don't know, this is the camera I'm talking about. Um, this is the Trizio Lite 8K camera. Just a little caveat here. Um, this is my own camera. I bought this myself and I ordered this myself. In the UK, the estate agent market or the real estate market is, is notoriously low price. Estate agents in the UK don't want to spend any money and there's always somebody out there who's prepared to do um, an okay tour for a very low price. Those of you who know me know that I shoot predominantly on a mirrorless camera. 90-95% of my work is done on a mirrorless and I wasn't prepared to compromise the quality and also do an awful lot of work for not a lot of money. Um, but the Trizio camera allows me to do that. Those of you who don't know about the Trizio camera, um, this is it here. Um, it, I think it's great. Um, it's, it's got a little rotator built in and the quality out of it is um, 8K. Having previously used the KuCam 8K and been disappointed with it, um, I ordered my Trizio from Amazon because of that reason, because if I wasn't happy I was going to return it. Uh, the camera's paid for itself um, time and time again. But a few people have asked me about my editing process. So what I thought I would do is a lot of my editing um, or a lot of my process is done before I go out on site. So just a little caveat, before I go out on site, I use a Google Pixel 6 or I have a Google Pixel 4a 5G. They are the two phones I use and I connect them to the Trizio before I go out on site and I'll create my folders in the camera before I go. Why do I do that? Um, two reasons. One, if you save an image directly into a folder, it will automatically stitch it. So as I'm moving from one point to another, the camera is already stitching that image and um, downloading it into that folder. The other reason for that is organization for me. This, the, the shoot that I did the other day, I'm gonna show you a couple of the images, there was nine properties. So it was a little bit of, um, you know, it would, have, it would have been easy to get lost. The camera has a Wi-Fi connection, that's how it works. As soon as I disconnect from that, I will then upload all of those images or back those images up to my Google Drive folder as I'm driving home. And then when I get home, it's just a case of me jumping onto Google Drive and downloading all the images that I do. I know I can plug my phone in and I can pull them images directly down, but it just, I do it that way because it saves me a step. You know, I have unlimited data, that's why I do it that way. And then when I get home, I'll import those images into Lightroom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you a couple that have been used on, on, on building one of the virtual tours that we've done for a company. So I use Lightroom. I use Photoshop, so I have a subscription for them. I also use Affinity Photo, and I also have a Topaz, Gigapixel, Sharp, and etc. etc. Um, I, I bought all of them, but I don't use them on the on 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 the Trizio camera. Certainly not in Theasis. The reason I don't use them is because Theasis gives me an option to sharpen. People ask me how I get my images so sharp. In the enhancements in Theasis on each individual panorama, you can add a little bit of sharpening. You can do white balance and color correction, etc. in the virtual tool builder, which is why I use it. But for this process, what we'll do is we're just gonna use Lightroom and Affinity, um, and I'm just gonna show you my process. So without further ado, let's jump in, eh? So here we are in Lightroom. We're gonna take the image from that to that. You can see we've got rid of the tripod. So you'll see the editing that we've done on this image when we've brought it from the camera. I've done my basic editing. I've dropped the exposure by 0.5, up the contrast, drop the highlights, um, increase the shadows, drop the whites, drop the blacks just to try and give it a little bit more colour. Um, added a little bit of vibrance and a little bit of saturation. And then what I do is I will edit these in Affinity Photo. 
I've set Lightroom up so I can edit in an Affinity Photo and I'll just edit a copy. Lightroom will create a copy and then open Affinity Photo. For those of you who don't know Affinity Photo, it's an amazing program, a one-off price. You're not paying a subscription and the reason I love it is because if we go into layer and we go into live projection, we can edit as an equirectangular 360 degree image. And the other reason why I really, really like it is because the inpaint and brush tool is amazing. For the purpose of this, I'm gonna do this the way I normally do my editing. So I'll do live projection and an equirectangular image. And the reason that I like this is because it will not have a seam, which we can get in other products. Then we just go to the inpaint and brush tool, just increase our brush, and it normally does a fabulous job of this. You can see I'm not being particularly careful. I'm just doing as much as I need to do. And then what will happen is Affinity will do a fabulous job of editing that out and it's done that then all i would do is live projection remove our live projection i'm not bothered about any color correction i've done that and then i would press save and that'll be imported back into lightroom which it has here and then from there export out my export settings are nothing other than put it in a subfolder i just export out and then if we go to our folder that we've just exported that to and open that up, you'll see that our file is there. The size of that file is 14.5 megabytes. I then use JPEG Mini because I just, I do. Theasis allows me to um, have a 200 megabyte image, but I want my two to load as quickly as possible. So I run that image through JPEG Mini and you'll see it's now seven and a half megabytes i would then just go into theasis as normal and i would upload my images and these are the images done in exactly the same process for this virtual tour but the trizio camera does an amazing job and that's it that's the process because i've done a little bit of work before i got there i was able to shoot that property in 10 minutes you saw how long it took to edit that image. I can probably edit the, the four images in 10 minutes and I can probably build that to a using Theasis in 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. Let's go nuts and call it 40 minutes. That would mean from start to finish that virtual tour is done in one hour. I think that's staggering. The reason I think that's great is because this makes it easy to shoot. And because it does such a good job and we're able to do the work in the beginning, we're also able to create a really nice quick virtual tour. And that's it. That's today's video on how we edit our images that we've shot with the Trizio camera. There is another video that I want to do after this that somebody's asked for, which is uh, regarding spacing and shooting when I'm building the tours. So when we're on site, they're asking how many space, what's the distance between images and how do we work that out? Um, I'll do that and I'll show you. I've got a couple of tours to shoot at uh, the beginning of next week, so I'll try and record when I'm on site again. If you can, as usual, like, comment, subscribe, um, share. Tell me what you want to see next and we can look at it. Um, and I'll try and do as many videos as we can going forward. As usual, have a great week. See you soon.